Hi, this is a project exploring markup chains in music generation. The resources I have used to help create this prototype are MIDI file by this guy, this paper, and the Wikipedia article on markup chains. The main focus of this project is to take existing music and create new music that sounds like the original. So, the idea is if I can make a system that turns my music into something that sounds a lot like me, then I can turn music from other amazing, talented, prolific musicians into something that sounds like them. This can be done with Markov chains in a large enough dataset. So what are Markov chains? They are a way of storing the probability of going from any one note to another. Suppose we have this excerpt of notes and we want to make a first order Markov chain. We look at every grouping of two notes and make an entry in the table where the first note leads to the second like so. We can then do this for every pair of notes in the list, keeping track of how many times that note comes up. We can make a second order Markov chain by including the two previous notes, third order of three notes, and so on. After you make the Markov model, start anywhere in your table, generate a new note, and then update your previous notes based on what you generated. Then go to that entry in the table and pick a new note. Keep going for as long as you like, and voila, infinite music. We can apply this same idea to rhythm by replacing pitch values with rhythm values. Another thing I have added is to make different Markov tables for different root notes or root chords. This way the music generation will only generate the notes that you play while in that key. This means that the generated music is only ever as out of tune as you are. Here are a few examples of this algorithm in context. Enjoy! So that's it. All of my code is on my GitHub, which is linked below along with Craig Sapp's MIDI file code and the Utah paper. The future aspirations of this project are to 1. be able to generate cohesive non-clashing chords, 2. have a certain metric for the intensity of play at any given time, and 3. to deal with rhythm in a non-quantized way. I have been super interested in this field ever since I started playing jazz, and I believe that I can make something that both sounds and feels human. Thanks.